I'm going to show you several different methods of how to remove broken links in your InDesign documents today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove broken links from your InDesign documents. There are several methods depending on whether you're on a a Windows machine or a Mac machine. Various versions will work. I'm using a Mac machine and I want to show you the different techs I've used, my techniques I've used. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I do a lot of InDesign work and book layout and I've experienced this quite a bit. Before I go on, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button to support my channel and also leave me a comment and let me know some better and more ideas for videos for you to help you out. So let's switch over to InDesign here. Okay, so the very first thing when you get this broken link, you will see, let me zoom in here and you will see this red question mark on the document. And if you look at the flyout here, the, the links panel, you'll see this red question mark. When you have a red question mark, that means a link is broken in your document. In the Mac version, if you right click on this, document there is nothing to do but relink and let's say and I don't have the original document so that's a problem if you go to the little flyout window here click this you will know that or you'll notice that unlink is grayed out in the Mac version I've seen other people say hey this works fine in my German version of InDesign I don't know why people are using a German version but they do but on the Mac version the unlink is not available. So if you're using the Mac version, Unlink doesn't work, but at least on the Windows version, this might work immediately. And all you do is go to this little hash uh, item on the flyout menu, hit Unlink, and that will work. So method one, depending on the computer and the operating system and the version of InDesign you have, that might do just fine for you. The second method, is a little bit more complex, but it's not too bad. And that's using in copy. This method seems to work for me 100%. And in copy is kind of the word processor for uh, Adobe. It's, it's kind of weird, but in any case, what you do is you go to, uh, you can't see it, but you go to edit, in copy, export. And I'm presuming that I want to save the layout of my entire book. I don't want to mess with anything. And then from export, I go to all stories, if this is just all text. I click all stories, and this item called an ICML will come up under my broken design links. And I will do that here. I will hit save. Okay. And now you'll notice all of a sudden in the links panel, there are no more broken links. And also on the little uh, qu red question mark above the document, there is also nothing there and nothing broken as well. And I haven't messed up my layout. Nothing has changed. And this technique totally works for me, which is really, really nice. And now to get rid of those links, all you do is click the first item shift click all the rest and then click here on the flyout hit unlink and in a moment all those links are gone the little world indicator link is gone and all of your document is saved and not messed up and you've got broken links boom that's the first technique that seems to work extremely well on the Mac version of InDesign, InDesign Creative Cloud 13, 14, and I assume method uh, or version 15. So hopefully that second technique works for you. If that doesn't work for you, I'm looking at my notes here. The next method, let me undo everything here, and let's say we're going to get back to my broken link, is this is a more laborious method, but it actually has potential to work as well. What you do is you double click inside your document, you select everything, and you'll see in my document, this is one long running stream. I, oops, uh, one moment, there we go. You command copy, and then click outside, and command paste. Now this item right here, 
is pasted your complete layout and now you go back inside your main layout command a to select everything delete the whole thing uh, command delete and that should get rid of everything cool no problem right and now what we do i know this is a bit crazy is we right click on the file in the links panel go to relink and I, I just generated a text file it doesn't even matter what it is all you do is just some rtf file that's all you need and you link to this rtf file you hit open and it'll bring in some junk and you'll notice that the link is now unbroken or not broken and we again unlink we right click or use the flyout menu either one works i right click and i hit unlink and now the link is gone i go into my text area here i select everything i delete everything and now i go back into my temporary pen or my temporary object i select everything with command a I then command C and copy, and then I go back into my now blank unlink panel, command V, and voila, everything is in there. All of my pages are in here, all of my document, my layout is next, not messed up, and now I can select this other object, delete it, and now I have no broken links. This version works on Mac on 13, 14, and 15, in design, it's more laborious. If you don't have a continuously connected document, it's going to be a lot more work. But this is another method that doesn't mess up your layout at all. So that's method three. It's very successful. The next setup is if you copy the interior of this document, and it's effectively the same thing. Select everything in your entire document, as you can see here create a new document that matches the design and layout exactly the same hit create and now command v and paste into this new document come up realign your text expand your text to fit and now you just need to add where are we pages now we just have a mountain of blank pages, and this isn't as successful depending on your layout. You click the overset text warning, you go to the next page, you hold shift down to do continuous reflow text, click in the corner, and in a moment, everything expands out and it looks like my layout is not perfect but everything's there so that is method i think uh, that is method one two three so that's method number four it is not as effective but it gets you out of the conundrum of hey everything's broken these other three di methods didn't work that's method number four method number four will definitely require you to do a little bit of tweaking to get the layout back to where you want it but it gets you pretty pretty close so that's not too bad Okay, so I'm going to delete that document. All right. The next method, I'm going to show you it, even though it doesn't work for the Mac, at least on version 13 and 14, it might work on Windows. I'll show you there. Is if you go to File, if you File, Save As, go to IDML. And if you choose IDML, sometimes going to IDML will remove the broken links too. And I just choose IDML Sweet Treats, save. And now I will go to, I will double click and see if it works. Broken link, shoot, okay. So this technique, saving to IDML, doesn't work on the Mac for InDesign 13 and 14, but it might work on your version of InDesign, especially if you're working on Windows. So 
That's another technique. It doesn't work for me, but I wanted to let you know. I've given you five different techniques for removing broken links from your InDesign document. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching.